university spin-offs. What is a university spin-off and what does it require to succeed? A video by Warren Barth. Let's start by what is a university spin-off or in UK terms, spin-out. In its simplest description, it's a company that's founded to exploit the results of university research. Now, generally speaking, the university will invest in protecting the intellectual property that the spin-off will exploit in return for a share in the company. In most cases, the company will then license the technology from the university. However, occasionally, the patent is held by the company itself. Spin-offs are formed in two ways from university research. These are known as the inside-out approach and the outside-in approach. The inside-out approach requires an intrapreneur, someone from within the university, such as a professor, to commercialize a close-to-market technology and identify industrial clients to sell it to. The outside-in approach involves someone from outside the university, such as an entrepreneur or early-stage startup, coming to the university with the industry needs and seeking solutions to take to market. The technology is still a mid-TRL, but the entrepreneur has a good vision of the market and its potential clients. There was a study in 2017 that outlined four key dimensions to a successful spin-off. The first is minds. Minds are technology experts with access to infrastructure to develop a product with strong IP. This usually comes from the university. Next is management. A motivated entrepreneur from outside the university or an intrapreneur is required. They must have a good vision of the market and a willingness to convert disruptive technologies into business opportunities. The other key important element is market. This includes a strategy with interested and committed industrial partners and clients. Once all of these are in place, the fourth dimension becomes crucial. Money. This is capital from investors such as angels, VC firms, or even government grants. The inside-out approach can be shown on this diagram as a combination of minds and management. With management, the challenge is to find an entrepreneur within an academic environment. However, intellectual minds naturally gravitate towards universities. Once these two exist, they can work together to develop the market with industrial clients. Within Europe, the money is far more likely to flow from government grants at this stage. For the outside-in approach, the entrepreneur with the network and understanding of the market will contact the university to develop a promising technology into a new business. Another important part of any startup is the equity split between the founders. A survey of 350 university spin-offs provided an average distribution of university spin-off equity. The survey found the following ownership split. Founders, 56.5%. University, 24.7%. Banks, 0.5%. Angels, 2.2%. VCs, 7.7%. Other, 8.4%. The number of university spin-offs has increased significantly in recent years as universities are pushed to show their research having a commercial impact. This has led to incubators within many universities to support entrepreneurial activity. I hope you found the video useful and have a look in the notes below for references. Thank you again for watching.